Hi guys, my name is Onoha UI and I'm a Canva certified creative from Nigeria. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook post with the Canva mobile app. It's just going to be an interesting tutorial. So let's jump right into Canva and get started. When you are creating your Facebook post, you need to understand that the dimension for Facebook posts is different from the dimension for Instagram posts. Facebook post is not a square, but Instagram post is a square. Now let me show you what that means. When I go ahead and tap on the plus button here, I'm going to see Instagram post 1080 by 1080. But if you see Facebook post, you're going to find a dimension 940 by 788. And this is one of the good news in Canva because you don't have to worry about thinking about dimensions to use. Everything is pre-made for you to go and start designing. Now let's select Facebook post. Now that it has opened, we're just going to tap on the top here and you can see our environment here. This is our artboard. Now I'm just going to add some elements, going to use the plus button here and I'm going to go to element. I'm going to tap on the square and I'm going to drag it here, stretch it and also to the bottom. This is the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is to go back and use the plus button. This time we we'll use recently used elements. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to rotate it. Now I will bring it towards this direction right here. I'm going to select my node tool and I'm going to push it to the top and also drag it down. Now I can adjust it from here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a frame. Tap on the plus button and I'm going to bring in this frame. I'm going to reduce this frame a little bit and it's going to be around here, just around here. Then I'm going to use the notch and nudge it to the top and then position, send it to the back. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this, make it to be a little bit bigger like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is bring in an image. I'm going to tap on the plus button again and I'm going to select this image. Drag the image to the frame. I'll just drag this a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is to change the colors to fit the color of the image. The first one I'm going to change is the background. So I would tap on the background, go to color, and I would choose this one. The second color is going to be this one. I will go to color, and I would choose this one. The next color I need to change is this one. I would tap on it, go to color. I would choose this color and then I can go over to tap on this plus here and use this one. Now I'm going to introduce some text. I'm going to tap on the plus button here. I will go to text and I will select this one. I'm going to ungroup it. For this, I'm going to change the size. And this one, I'm also going to change the text. I will go over to Format, Centralize, Uppercase. Then I will go over to Spacing and then I will space the letter and reduce it a little bit. Now I will go over to effects, shape, curve, then I need to reduce it a little bit and spread out the curve like this. Then I will go over to nudge, nudge it to the top. This text, I'm going to bring it to the middle here. This time around, I'm going to chop out some of the text that I don't want to use. Now I'm going to go over to Format, Centralize it. I'm going to bring it here to the middle. Now I will drag this text towards this direction. Then I need to reduce it a little bit and also drag it 
down right here. I'm going to add another element, so I'll go with the plus button. I'll go over to element, circle. I'm going to reduce this like this, drag it to this place. Then I'll change the color to this. And then I will increase this a little bit. And then I'm going to add a button. I will select this. I'm going to reduce it. It's going to be right here. I'm going to nudge this to the top a little bit for some space. Right here to the top. And this I'm going to duplicate it. Right here I'm going to change the text to book now. I'm going to go to format, bold. Then I'm going to go to spacing. Then I will space it a little bit. I'm going to drag it below here. Then I will change the color to white. And then here I'm also going to change this content. I'm going to say use code. Use this code. And then I'll go to format, centralize it, make it bold. Then I will bring it to the middle right here. The next thing I need to do is to drag this down. And then I will go to effects, shape, filter, and curve. And then I will just reduce this like this. Then for this, I'm going to go to position, send it to back, so I can select this one. And then I will go over to nudge again and bring it down a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is tap on this and duplicate it. I'm going to type in a URL. Then I'm going to go over to format, remove it like this. I'm going to go to spacing and I will space it evenly. Then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to bring it here and then I'm going to drag it. The next thing I need to do is to drag this right here. Now I'm going to go to format to the left. Then I will go over to nudge and I will take it up. Then I'm going to reduce it a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is change the color to white. Then I'm going to look at the font and I'm going to select Montserrat Light. That's it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line. So I will go over to Elements and I will select the line shape. I'm going to rotate it change the weight to one change the style to this then i'm going to drag it right here then i'll take it to the top right here i will change the color to white and i will duplicate it and i will put it here then i will increase it to this then I will tap on this, I will go to notch and bring it down a little bit. This is fine. The next thing I'm going to do is select this, duplicate it and take it to the top here. Now I'm going to change this. I'm going to call it Claudia Studio. And then I'm going to go over to formats. I'm going to make it bold. Then I will go to spacing and then reduce the line spacing. I can increase it to this. Then I will introduce my logo. I'll go to the plus button here, go to element. Right here, I'm going to type spa and I will select this one. I will change the color to this reduce it and I will just drag it 
here. I'm going to use the notch tool to bring it down and to also reduce it. Now I will select this and duplicate it. I'm going to rotate it. And then I'm going to type in photography and beauty. Then I'm going to drag it and bring it right here. I'm going to go to spacing, reduce the spacing. Then I'm going to reduce it to this and go to nudge, nudge it to the top. Now I'm going to select all of it and group it. The next thing I'm going to do is add another text. So I will select this, duplicate it, I'm going to rotate it. And then here I'm going to create a font size so I can work on it properly. And then here I'm going to type in phone, address, and website. I'm going to reduce it. Then I'm going to go to spacing, space it, and reduce it. Now I'm going to drag it to this place. And then I'm going to go to format and align it to the right, right here. And then I'm going to get this line and duplicate it. Then I'm going to rotate it like this way and I'm going to bring it down right here. The next thing I'm going to do is to add a shadow. I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to use the delete option here and it's going to ask me delete image or delete frame. I want to delete the image in the frame so I would select delete image. Now for the color I'm going to change it to black. For the outline, I'm also going to change it to black. Now I will go to transparency and reduce the transparency like this. Then I will go to position and position it to the back. The next thing I'm going to do is introduce some elements to complete the design. I'm going to tap on the plus button and I'm going to select recently used. Here I'm going to use any of this, you can easily type blow in the search bar to populate those blow effects. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to put it around here. I will increase it and put it around here. So I will go to position and position it to the back. Then I will go to transparency and reduce the transparency. I will go back to the plus button. And this time around, I'm going to select this one. I'm also going to increase it and I will take it here and then I'm going to go to transparency and reduce the transparency a little bit and then go to position and position it to the back. I'm going to go again and I'm going to select this lemon element. I will increase it then I will go over to transparency, reduce transparency, and then position, I will send it to the back, like this. Now I need to work on the transparency again, so I will select transparency and reduce it again, like this. The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to plus again, this time around select the circle and I'm going to bring it around here this way and I'm going to change the color to this then I'll go over to transparency reduce transparency I'll go to position and I'll send it to the back the other thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to select this one and I will duplicate it this time around I'm going to choose position and I will send it to back gradually until I get the effect that I want to get. So here is it. 
I have sent it to back and this is the effect that I'm having right now. So here is it. I'm going to drag this to the top here and I'm going to reduce this here. So you can see that effect just around it. The next thing I'm going to do is select the font and make sure it's having the font that I want it to have. I'm going to choose Open Sans and then I'm going to go over to Format, make it Italics and make it bold. I would just increase it, make it go in the center and in the center. I'm going to use my notch to push it to the center. There you have it. Now that's how to create a Facebook post with the Canva mobile app. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, seven days without Canva makes one week. And until then, I done.